Hey guys. <laughs> Hello YouTube and biological anthropology class. Today I will be talking about the characteristics of western chimpanzees. Alright, this has been a very interesting and different quarter, so um, I hope this I hope this is fun for you guys. All right, let's talk about some chimps, okay? Just a few photos to get us started with the Western chimpanzee. I'm sure by now we have all seen one of these guys before, whether in person or in film and TV. When we think of your typical chimpanzee, these are probably similar to the images that run through our heads. While their common species name is the Western chimpanzee, their scientific name is the Patroclodites for use. Western chimpanzees mainly inhabit Western African countries like Cote d'Ivoire and Guinea. However, there are some smaller populations in surrounding countries. Although some study sites have documented that chimpanzees build their nests or sleeping platforms on the ground, arboreal nest building is typically the route they take, as building their nests high in the trees serves the function of protection from predators. Side note, I do not know who this lady is, but she looks like she's having a wonderful time up in that tree. Western chimpanzees, or the Patroclodites for use, are a subspecies of the common chimpanzee that became genetically different from other chimpanzees approximately 500,000 years ago. Alright, so recent primatology research has shown that western chimpanzees actually have a unique set of behavior that hasn't been observed before in other subspecies. This seems to be especially evident in the Fongoli chimpanzees that are found in Senegal. They have been observed to use places like caves to socialize and sleep, they travel and forage at night, they play in water, and have constructed wooden spears to hunt other primates. Male and female western chimpanzees differ in their prey. Senegal bush babies account for about 75% of females' prey and about 47% of the males. Male western chimps will typically prey more on smaller monkeys, such as green monkeys and guinea baboons. Both will occasionally hunt bush backs, however only males were observed to hunt pedas monkeys and only females were observed to hunt banded mongooses. So moving on to the physical features of the western chimpanzee, these chimps have black or brown hair all over their body except for their face, hands, and feet. Male western chimpanzees have an average body weight of 90 to 115 pounds and an average height of 3 to 4 feet. Female western chimpanzees have an average body weight of 57 to 110 pounds and an average height of 2 to 3.5 feet. Baby western chimps have much pinker skin under their dark hair when they are born, which turns darker as they age. Unlike other primates, chimpanzees do not have a tail. They have opposable thumbs just like humans, which functions similar as a method of grabbing objects. Alright, heads up, I might butcher this next part because there are some big words, but I'm trying my best. But moving on to the taxonomy of western chimpanzees, which actually resembles your typical chimpanzee classification once we get to the subspecies category. Their kingdom is Animalia, their phylum is Chordata, their class is Mammalia, and their order is primates with the suborder being Haploini. Next we look at their family, which is the Hominidae. Their tribe is the Hominini, their genus is Pan, their species is Pan troglodyte, and lastly their subspecies is, you guessed it, Patroclodites for use. What's really interesting about chimpanzee taxonomy is that it remains an active area of research. There are four subspecies of chimpanzee that are commonly recognized. Our western chimpanzee, the Nigeria Cameroon chimpanzee, the central chimpanzee, and the eastern chimpanzee. The appropriate taxonomic label for different chimpanzee populations remains a matter of debate. Some genetic research suggests that current recognized subspecific distinctions are warranted. Given that the different populations across Africa differ in the threats they face, a regional approach is valuable for conservation purposes. Therefore, we use a four subspecies classification, acknowledging that future work may lead to recognition of more or fewer subspecies. Since 2016, western chimps have been classified as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threat- Oh, hold on. I've got my Invisalign in. Let me take it out. Alright, gross. Alright. Since 2016, western chimps have been classified as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. 
Between 1990 and 2014, the western chimpanzee's geographic range declined by 20%. At the same time, populations declined annually by 6.5%, with a total population reduction of 80%. This period corresponds to a single chimpanzee's generation of about 23 years, so if this decline were to continue, 99% of the remaining population will be lost by 2060. The major causes of population decline are habitat loss, infectious disease, and illegal hunting. Even though hunting chimpanzees is illegal, it is widespread, mainly for food, but also in retaliation for crop raiding, and occasionally infants are captured and sold to wildlife traffickers. The Pan-African Sanctuary Alliance, or PASA, is the largest coalition of wildlife centers and sanctuaries across Africa. With a network of 23 member organizations in 13 African countries, PASA serves as a united coalition fighting to protect and save humanity's closest relatives from the brink of extinction. This is just one organization that is helping Western chimpanzees, but there are many others online. I'll include the link for PASA in the bio below if you would like to further look into what they do. All right, that about wraps up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys take care. Deuces.